Hi there. Now, for this question, we're asked to show that the equation of the line L1, which passes through the points P and Q up here, is given by this equation. So, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't had a chance to do it, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So this is just going to be the equation of a line where, first of all, we need to get the gradient. So if we just take the gradient of the line L1, it's going to be equal to the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So if we just say 8k minus 4k for the difference in the y-coordinates, that's 4k divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, 4k squared minus k squared, that's 3k squared. And this is clearly equal to 4 over 3k. So now that we've got that, let's just border that off there. Now that we've got that, just have an intro, and we'll just say, therefore, equation of L1 is... And what's it going to be? Well, using the usual form, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. It's going to be y minus y1. I'll take the point P. Let's just say uh, from P, OK, up here. So y minus y1, that's y minus 8k, equals the gradient m, which is 4 over 3k times x minus x1, so that's 4k squared. Obviously, it doesn't matter whether we take the point q. should end up with the same answer. So just going to multiply through by 3k. So we get 3ky minus 24k squared. Then it's just 4 times this bracket, so that equals 4x minus 16k squared. And if we rearrange this, we can see we're going to get that. OK, so therefore 3ky minus the 4x equals 8k squared. And there you go.